The man accused of kidnapping a five-year-old girl after a fire in Bemidji has been formally charged in court. And today our Brenda Mack tells us new details about the case. 32-year-old Jacob William Kinn has been charged with one count of felony kidnapping. Kinn was arrested last Wednesday after voluntarily speaking with detectives about the disappearance of Brittany Bowser. Bowser was found alive in a pop-up camper near Big Fork the next morning. We went there because of uh, investigative leads. Um, actually, it came out of cell tracking. And um, we utilized that technology uh, to help us save her. That information was released at a press conference last week. And today, a criminal complaint details investigators say his phone pinged off off the Big Fork cellular tower the night Bowser was missing. Investigators learned that Ken's brother owned a property in that area. That was when they decided to head to the location. Upon arrival, Balser was found with her legs taped together. She was without food, nor water, nor any bathroom facilities. Balser also said she was taped on her mouth, legs and hands as well. She was driven to Kin's house before being left at the camper. She said Kin told her he was not going to come back. Friends have identified the victim of the fire as Melissa Missy Norby. Investigators say Norby had recently rekindled a relationship with Kin. Some of her neighbors remember her as a sweet and kind lady with her great teenager son. Her son was out of town when the tragedy happened. It was just her and her, and her son that lived there. And uh, they spent a lot of time together. They know they cared about each other a lot. Uh, he was visiting you know, friends in cities there. Luckily, they could have been in there too. Kind of lost though. Friend. Uh, I can't do it anymore. We are still waiting on final autopsy results that may reveal more information about the fire. If convicted, Kin faces up to 40 years in prison and or about $50,000 in fines. His bail is currently set at $500,000 with conditions. In Bemidji, Brenda Mack, Lakeland News. Jacob Ken was under proba probation for possessing child pornography back in 2013. His hearing is scheduled for July 18th at Beltrami County's courthouse. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.